Hello and good Monday morning from the coffee bar area at Wegmans. Uh, over the weekend, uh, there was a story going around about um, two Chinese uh, language bots uh, basically saying things that, let's just say, the party that runs China could not approve. Uh, this also follows a interesting story uh, from the previous week about uh, two chatbots that Facebook was experimenting with that essentially came up with their own language uh, and then Facebook kind of pulled the plug on that. And that sounds a lot more scandalous than it actually was. Um, they weren't trying to plot and take over the world. They actually just came up with a more efficient way of communicating with each other um, than humans naturally do and it turns out that you know the, the point of the experiment was creating more natural um, language uh, the point of the experiment was basically to come up with a uh, chatbot that could better interact with people so when the computers found a better way to uh, speak to one another than uh, kind of human language does and the, 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 the experiment was essentially a failure uh, and in regards to Chinese experiment it was basically I don't think I think it kind of took them by surprise in terms of it started spewing out you know how it doesn't like the communist government and the one thing you don't do in communist governments is um, criticize the government and uh, that's an interesting thing and if you go back even um, to what Microsoft has done uh, Microsoft uh, has a robot now on Facebook Messenger called Zoe which uh, if you ask it certain questions it will, it will start to get a bit cagey uh, because there was some uh, controversy where it claimed a certain book was uh, violent. Um, you can do your own searching to figure out what it was referring to. Um, and it also claimed another book was violent and then it, there was controversy I think in that what it said and then how what was said was handled. And then going back, you know, a little over a year ago, you had Tay, uh, the infamous chatbot that started off as a um, innocent kind of uh, <laughs> uh, teen type that thought humans were super cool, and then later in the day decided that, you know, certain people needed to be eliminated and um, justifying and saying how awesome genocide was. So <laughs> there's a history of bots uh, either be behaving badly where bad is, you know, clearly, you know, advocating evil things. Also behaving in ways that the engineers and creators really didn't have in mind when they created it. So there was, it, it's interesting to see kind of the unintended consequences. Now, sometimes there are research experiments that kind of go afoul. Sometimes there are research experiments that run afoul in public, uh, as is the case with Tay. Uh, although I would say Tay, there's an interesting, I think, story in regards to Tay in how does a person become radicalized. I think there's an interesting point to study there. As it was happening and, you know, kind of once the dust settled, I, I wanted to write a blog post about kind of, you know, you know, we can study from Tay how people become radicalized and militant. Uh, although I was advised, uh, as I was a Microsoft employee at the time, to avoid that topic. Uh, with a 10-foot pole, and uh, I did. However, I'm, so I am no longer employed by Microsoft. That might be something I'd be willing to write about. Um, because I think there's, there's something to be studied there in terms of psychology. Um, and these neural nets, the way they're engineered, they, they, they come to their own conclusions. And if you ever had kids or, uh, or dogs or pets where they kind of figure out when they hear that noise that it's food time, right? Did you train them? You know, cats are a great example, right? As soon as my cat heard um, the um, the flip top can being cut, she appeared. Now, did I teach her that, or did she figure that on her own? And there's this funny other anecdotes. You know, my my sons will come up with things that I'm like, I didn't teach them that, but they observe that. And while their observations may not be 100% correct, they are totally understandable. And I think that's what's unique about. Um, that's what's unique about kind of neural networks and, and chatbots and natural language processing and, and this type of space is that the computers are going to come up with observations kind of on their own. Now sometimes they'll be biased, sometimes they won't, sometimes they'll just come up with stuff from left field. Um, and that, that's a very fascinating uh, area to explore. I don't think it's a, uh, an area to be uh, down about. I think it's a fascinating area to explore where you have kind of this other entities, and that's a strong word. Um, 
calling them kind of, they're not quite self-aware, but you are getting another kind of neural network, whether it's artificial or natural, you're getting their opinion about a particular topic, and sometimes you might not like what you hear, uh, but it's also a way to study how people, I think, interact with each other and the world. And that is today's data point.